Hello, welcome to your very special Pilates short little workout. I'm very excited to be bringing this to you today um, and I hope you get a chance to practice this at least once this week. Um, preferably if you really want to get the benefit out of Pilates and getting some movement going in the body, um, maybe uh, if you could do three or four times a week that would be fantastic. Only takes five minutes if you want to do it twice, ten minutes, great. So let's start with your mat, comfortable clothes, nothing too restrictive, please don't do it in your jeans. And we're going to lie down on our backs. So we're going to have the feet and knees in line with your hip bones, flatten the back into the floor and then arch it back the other way. So we're just rocking and rolling the pelvis, taking it backwards and forwards, releasing any pressure in the lumbar spine and tension. And then find halfway between those two tilts. So that's your neutral pelvis. We're just finding halfway between the two extremes of the pelvis. So your pelvic bone and your hip bones are all on the same plane. You've got baby, if you have some baby oil in your navel, it will just be level. Of course, we've all got baby oil in our navel at some point or other in our lives. Say no more. Okay, so we're going to start with the shoulder bridge. Great for glute work and great for getting the correct timing of the spine. So we're going to start to go back to where we were just now, rolling the spine underneath, tucking under, flattening the back and rolling up, picking it up from the hip bones, coming up onto your shoulder blades. You're going to take a deep breath in, the hips are level, and as you breathe out you're going to roll back down, sending the breath down the spine, tailbone comes down last. And then off you go again, rolling back up, pressing the feet into the floor, feel the ground beneath the feet. And as you breathe out, you're rolling back down. Take a deep breath in when you get there and breathe out as you roll back up. Soften the shoulders, feel the collarbone open and widen and slowly down. I'm gonna do two more. So we're going between five and 10 repetitions, squeezing the glutes, keeping the hips level, trying to keep the ribs a little bit lower than your hip bones. Should we do one more? We're going to hold this one and we're going to try and keep those glutes steady and level and squeezing them tight so making sure that the hips don't drop. Lifting one heel and then lifting the other and then lifting one heel. Try not to shift your weight from side to side and we're going to do another one. So I'm going for five on each side. If you want to make it a bit more challenging, float the foot. See how high you can get the knees. We're aiming for it to be above your hip. Okay, how's your hips feeling? You're not sinking? Roll back down. Can we do it one more time? Come on then, let's roll up. Lengthen through the knees, hips level, check your position. Lifting those heels one at a time, staying steady. Now if you're happy that you can stay in this position without compromising the back and without the back dropping down, See if you can float the knee, trying not to sink from side to side, so you're staying steady, equal tension right and left, equal pressure in the glutes, relax the shoulders. So about three to five repetitions, and I'm doing a few more than that, on each side, I can't count, and then roll yourself down as you breathe out, send that breath down the spine. Lovely. And then come back to that neutral position we talked about in the beginning, so you're halfway between those two tilts. Think about activating your centre. Think about your hip bones, those little bony bits at the front of your pelvis, pulling together from the inside, almost as if you're trying to hug your spine from the front and the back and the sides. Just a gentle contraction, about 30% of your strength. And as you do so, you're going to breathe out and pick up that knee, one knee above your hip. And as you breathe out again, the next leg comes up. Happy, trying not to tilt the pelvis so you're not rolling back. One knee comes in, lengthen the other leg. If you wish, lift the head and shoulders. Switch legs and switch. This is called your one leg stretch. And switch, lengthening that leg from your hip. If you're struggling a little bit, the foot can go up towards the ceiling. If the neck aches, bring the head down. So again, about five to ten repetitions on each side. And then last one, bring the knees in. Hug the knees in towards your chest. 
Keep the arms and the legs away into the double leg stretch. Arms and legs come back over. And again, exhale as you take the arms and legs away. Inhale as you come back in. So looking to see that you can keep the ribs down to your hips. So the back's not arching. If you feel any pain in the back, take the legs higher towards the ceiling. Or just keep the legs here. And just work the arms instead. So about five to ten repetitions. You know I can't count. I'm trusting you to do your counting. When you're done, hug your knees in towards your chest. Then roll yourself over onto one side, ready for your side kick. Let the head rest on the head, on your hand, on your arm, on the outstretched arm. And lengthen those feet, push through the heels, lift the top leg. And as you breathe out, bring that leg forward, pointing the foot as you breathe in and take it back. So your hand is in front or it's on your thigh. If it's much trickier, if it's up towards the ceiling, you need to rely on your core strength now and your stability to keep you nice and steady in your hips. Keep those ribs sliding down towards your hips so you're not arching the back. Woo! Don't worry if you can't move that far, doesn't matter what's more important is what's going on here. Five to ten repetitions and then come back to your start position. You can do five circles in one direction. Hand can be in front to steady if you need to. And when you've done five, reverse. Keeping the leg long. Push through that heel as if you've got energy coming out of that foot. And then when you've done five, you're going to relax that leg down. Roll over onto your front. Come into child's pose. Take the pelvis back towards the heels. And then roll yourself up. Come onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. And again, neutral position, so you're halfway between the two tilts if you've got a, a door on your back. And you can feel the door on your sacrum here, on your tailbone, and on the middle of the back here, where your bra line is, girls, heart line for the guys, and the back of the head. Keep that door balanced on your back. Float the, toe, float the knee sorry, off the floor as you tuck your toes under. And we're holding for five to ten breaths. This is called your short plank. <laughs> So try not to sink between your shoulders. Keep a volume in the chest. Imagine my fingers are between your chest, between your um, shoulder blades, that's what I'm looking for. And push your breastbone towards my fingers. Keeping that volume in the chest and keeping the shoulders working. Five to ten breaths. Start to shake a little bit now. So when you reach your five to ten breaths, come down, relax the toes. Release the arms and let your knees crack. Roll yourself up, swing yourself around and we'll do the side kick and the circles on the other side. So get in your position, exhaling to kick, inhaling to come back. Make sure your hips are stacked, relax your shoulders, still staying centred. Shoulders relaxing down your back. Make sure they're not up here by your ears. When you start to concentrate, the first thing to lift and get tense are your shoulders. Five to ten repetitions, exhaling as you go, inhaling as you come back. Coming back to your start position, five circles in one direction. Two more. And then reverse. Staying steady. Lovely. And when you've done five, Circles and then five circles, relax that leg. Slowly come up into your seated position. Swing yourself around, bending your knees. Either get a rolled up towel, or if you've got these squishy balls, put it between your knees or a thick book, it's fine. Taking the arms out in front, lengthen through the crown of your head, sitting on your little bony bits, you're going to roll back halfway, taking the uh, pelvis away from your legs. And you're going to come back up. And again, you're going to roll yourself back, relax your shoulders, coming back up. So you're going to breathe out, hug that spine, and breathe in as you come back up. And if you wish, you can go all the way to the floor, but you've got to come all the way back up. Breathe out as you come up, as if you've been pulled up. Let's see if we can go again. Stay halfway if you can't get back up, that's fine. Halfway is fine. One more. I'm going to add a 
twist. Now as you breathe out, one arm comes away, the other hand stays in front, other side. Just imagine you're sitting in concrete from the waist down, so you have to twist from the rib cage. The ball helps to keep the knees in line and steady, works your inner thighs and works your pelvic floor as well. Very important to stabilise the pelvis, getting that pelvic floor switched on. The further back you go, the more you've got to stabilise and pel on your pelvis and focus on your hips, staying centred. Last one. Bit of fun to finish. Release that ball. Hands onto your shins. Come to the end of your mats. Try and get in your balance. Take a deep breath in as you roll back onto your shoulders and exhale as you come back up. This is rolling like a ball. Really nice massage for your spine. Gets a stretch in those erectile spinal muscles. Working your abdominals as you try and keep your balance. If you want to make it a little bit more of a challenge, take the hands out in front. You can hold the ball if you want to. And without using the arms. This is when you will fall over and <laughs> you end up laughing. So five to ten repetitions to finish it off. And it's a nice way to finish. Lovely. And there you go. That's your little Pilates routine for today. It's probably more than about five minutes. So uh, have good fun and let me know how you got on at uh, mypilatescornwall.co.uk and the email address is pilates at mypilatescornwall.co.uk. I'm going to try and do one of these probably once a month and um, then we'll get some more Pilates shorts videos going where we can download them off the website. Okay, take care. Thank you for watching.